Hey guys, I just got home from work and I found a very cool surprise at my door. I mean, I was expecting it, but I didn't have any sort of tracking, so I wasn't sure when it was going to get here. It is the Rock Band 4 Band in a Box Kit. Um, it's kind of interesting. You can see, it before I even open it, you can see it's a China Cargo Airlines. And then they FedExed it to me. So, I'm guessing that these guys were sent from the headquarters, or not headquarters, from like the factories in China straight to Mad Cats, who makes the instruments. You can see the Chinese writing here. And then if I turn the box this way, this is kind of cool. It says, for Mad Cats internal use only. Well, I'm not part of their company, so <laughs> the fact that I got this, right? But here you go, Mad Cats X1, Xbox One, banned in a box for Rock Band 4. I guess black NA, or I, I don't know, black... I really don't know what that means, and the NA is probably North America. And you got the ROHS certificate, some sort of a barcode here, the little thing that says fragile, and uh, has this little like Fox Link thing with a bunch of stuff written in Chinese. <laughs> so, anyway, for those who were wondering how I got this, um, I was selected by Harmonix to be part of the Rock Band Road Crew, which is a cool sort of like a, not really a beta test program, but it's basically a, um, they let people submit applications, and in the application you could say how much you loved Rock Band and why you'd be a good candidate, and so I told some stories about it, and surely enough I got picked, and basically it's a sort of public relations thing that they're doing that the people who get selected are supposed to upload lots of videos and pictures and things like that about the game to sort of get the word out. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, and we got these for free. Harmonix sent these out for free to anyone that got chosen. So, these retail for $250, by the way. I uh, pre-ordered only the game by itself because I don't actually need new instruments. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and grab a letter opener here so I can get this box open. I already have Xbox 360 instruments. And so I thought, why well, spend $250 to get new ones for Xbox One when I can use the ones I already have? But I won't say no to free stuff, so let's take a look here. Now, it's also important to note that the game does not come out for another four days. As of making this video, it's uh, October 2nd, and the game comes out on October 6th. It's a strange release date. You'd think they'd put it, you'd think they'd release it on a Friday, but I guess not. October 6th for both Xbox One and PlayStation 4, so I get this early. Like I said, the fact that it didn't have tracking sort of uh, made me worry, but here we go. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Rock Band 4, Band in a Box for Xbox One. Game software included. Which is cool because I already have one pre-ordered, which at this point I might be able to cancel since I just got one for free. Um, so it says here, USB microphone, wireless drums, wireless Fender, wireless Fender Stratocaster guitar controller, and then it shows it comes with like the drumsticks, some batteries, this is included. It's kind of funny, it looks like, I don't know, it almost looks like this is part of the ink. Like, it almost looks like the ink, like, spilled, but it doesn't feel like there's a spill on it. Same with this. Like, it just, it's just part of the, like, you know, coloring that they put in the background, but it almost makes it look dirty, like someone spilled something on this. Anyway, included game software, wireless guitar, guitar strap, wireless drums, drumstick, USB mic, four AA batteries. So, let's go ahead and, uh, see if I can do this carefully here. It looks like a perfect size box, really. I mean, there really isn't any excess fluff going on here. So, and I'm guessing that they did this, they packed it this way intentionally so that I can just flip the box upside down and it'll come right out. So let's go ahead and try that. Go ahead and flip the box upside down here. And uh, this. I'm trying, to do, I'm trying to do this one hand so I can get this on the camera, of course. If I could use both my hands, this would be much faster. So, let's see here. Actually, even using both hands, because I have 
You notice the camera is sort of over here on the side. Even using both hands, this is tricky. Okay, got it out of the box. All right, so let's take a look here. I guess it's upside down. Rock Band 4, band in a box. Let the camera focus real quick. Okay, and again, this is game software included. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing. I'm not sure, I haven't been checking YouTube lately, so I don't know if anyone else has beaten me to it, but <laughs> certainly want to get this out here quickly. So for those of you who pre-ordered it, um, this is what you'll expect. Uh, at least if you bought the band in a box. There's also the other versions you can get, like I pre-ordered just the software, the $60 software. And then you can also, there's one, I think it's like $120, that comes with the game and the guitar. And then, of course, the band in the box I showed you comes with the guitar, drums, oh, that's a drum pedal, all oh, the mics up here. So guitar, drums, mic, and the game. So, anyway, let's take a look here. So it looks like we got some, there's like some little sealed stuff here, so just cut that. Take the letter opener and cut this one as well. I'm trying to do this one-handed, as I said. And then we have to go around and do the same on the other side. So, Go ahead and cut this one. Okay, and we just got one more to deal with. Oh geez, looks like that ripped a little bit. I'm trying to be careful with it, <laughs> but oh, there's a actually whoa, they like went overboard here. There's like four little seals I gotta cut on this side. They word I was gonna try to steal this or something. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if this works. If this, uh, if I can pull the outside part off. <sighs> Darn it. Did I miss? I might have missed these two on the other side. I'll have to. Alright, let's flip it back over and take a look. <laughs> I'm trying to open this in a way that doesn't completely destroy it. Yeah, I did, I did miss it. Look, there are two. I thought there were just the two on these sides, but I guess there are two on the other. There are four. Total, so let's grab our letter opener and cut these guys. Okay, now I should be able to just lift this up. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up and got our white box underneath it. I put that in there for safekeeping, which, you know, of course, um, I'll probably just keep the empty box so that it, when I move or something, I can just pack it all up. I don't know what this is, if this is like a serial number or something, but got our markings on there. Okay. Now, alright, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth here. I needed, I'd give you a drum roll, but the drums are in the box. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make that joke. Okay. Alright. Oh, I got a thing to stop. Okay, so Rock Band 4 looks like we have a, this looks like a manual for the drum kit here. And then this, you can read for yourself, I shouldn't have to read this out loud. Funny thing is I never actually purchased this, <laughs> Harmonic sent it to me, so I can't return it to the, per to the retailer anyway. Okay, so, let's take a look here. We have, this is just an empty piece of cardboard it looks like they're using for filler. This feels like it has the drumsticks in it, and probably the batteries. <clears throat> you can see the drums under here. I'm not even going to bother taking those out because I'm not a drummer, and quite frankly, I'd probably be terrible at them, so I think I'll just leave them like that. I've, I've assembled Rock Band drums before, and they're kind of a pain to take apart once they're assembled, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and I'm guessing this is the guitar here. Let's see. Being kind of stubborn. Okay. What is this? It's like an extra, you know, like an extra flap under there for some reason. Yep. All right. Here's the guitar. Actually, smaller than I was expecting. This is smaller than the Guitar Hero ones. I got another one of these little stop sign things. All right. Let's take a look at this here. You got your Xbox One buttons. Of course, they're more or less the same as the 360, but they just look different. So the the menu, you know, the start button, and like instead of instead of being a the the arrows, you have the start is like this menu button here, and the back is this little window-looking thing. 
but yeah, other than that, looks pretty much the same. You've got your your fret buttons here, and your little mini fret button down there for guitar solos and stuff like that. I'm not going to take all the nice little plastic off of it for now. Um, so there's that. Put this back in here for the time being. But it looks like this is the, the handle. And again, it's one of those things that you can technically take it apart for safekeeping, but once you do that, it's a little bit hard to do. So again, because I already have Xbox 360 instruments, I'm going to try those first before I open, before I actually start using these. Just because it's, you know, I mean, I appreciate getting free stuff, but um, I just don't see the need to have more guitars and drums than I'm actually going to use. I'm only one person, right? And I have quite a few guitars from my times playing Guitar Hero and Rock Band. So, put that one back in there for safekeeping. Now, right, let's see what else we got here. The game is supposed to be in here too, unless they got us, unless they took the game out because I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't come with these because, uh, you know, I don't know. Actually, I don't know at all. What the heck is, uh, it feels like there's stuff in here. Maybe the disc is in here and they just haphazardly like threw it in there. I don't know. How is this? What is this? This feels like, um, it's probably the kick pedal now that I think about it. Whoops, I did not mean to tear that. The problem with these things is once you open them, they're so hard to put back. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, that's the kick pedal. That's what I thought. Okay. So the disc isn't hiding in there. So like I said, I don't know if this actually comes with the game or not. Um, I, I mean, the, the, the retail bundle does, but be, this isn't the... Re I mean, this is like the special bundle that I got as being a rock band roadie. Oh, no, it's here. Cool. Sweet. Look at that. And it has the little not for resale marking because it's part of a bundle. Hey, look at that. I got the game early. Check that out, guys. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and set this up and... You know, get the game installed and everything, see if it lets me play it before it's officially out, and maybe I'll put some gameplay clips up later uh, once I've gotten acquainted with whatever's, <laughs> whatever's new in Rock Band 4 from what I'm used to, Rock Band 3. So, let's just uh, get some nice cover shots here before I open this. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and open it. Why not? Okay, here. Alright, sorry about that, guys. My camera's battery died. I had to change it. So, anyway, here's where we were. I'm just going to go ahead and open the box to show everyone what the disc looks like. So I got the plastic started, and I'm just going to, you know, unwrap it here. Try to unwrap it with one hand, I apologize. <laughs> okay. Alright, and we got our little security seal here. So, uh, let's very carefully remove this so that I don't cause any damage. I don't, I know some people just cut them, but I like to actually remove them from the box entirely. Like this, so it's nice and clean there. Okay, and I will throw this out later. Just throw that in there for now. Okay, Rock Band 4. Of course, the Xbox One discs are sort of backwards, but... So, that's what our disc looks like. Rock Band 4, start a band, rock the world. I believe that's been their slogan since the first Rock Band. Cool, and here's the back cover. Some of the songs that are on it. I'm actually quite surprised that uh, Uptown Funk is on it. That That's kind of funny. I mean, it's it's a good song, but I was not guessing that they were going to put that in Rock Band 4. Um, yeah, 1 to 4, or 2 to 4 is co-op, and saying the instruments are required. I think that's really about it. The rest of this is all just copyright disclaimers. So, yeah, cool, guys. Um, all right, so I think I'll go ahead and try to play this and um, see see what's different. And I might upload some gameplay footage, but I'm trying to keep this channel as being just, like, live-action recorded stuff with a camera. So I'm not sure if I'm going to upload any gameplay yet. 
But hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing and you know what to expect if you ordered the Band in a Box bundle. Um, and if you didn't, well, the Rock Band instruments should work. Um, the Xbox 360 ones, I mean, and on the Xbox One, and then PS3 instruments are supposed to work on the PS4. I don't know much more information than that, though. Supposedly there's like an adapter you have to buy or something like that. Um, I don't really know, but... Either way, I mean, if, if I try, if I, if I need the adapter and, it, like, I can't get my instruments to work, then I'll just go ahead and open this guitar that I put back in the box, but um, I'm hoping that I can use the instruments I already have, keep these as an extra if I want to have a party or something like that, but, uh, yeah, either way, it's a, it's a cool little set, and um, I'm eternally grateful to Harmonix for sending me a free set, and I think this is the least I can do in return was do an unboxing video and advertise for it. So everybody go out and buy Rock Band 4 on October 6th when it officially releases. I think that's all I've got to say for now. See you all later.